Okay. Instagram's up. YouTube and Facebook are up. Hello, everybody. How are you? Let me be the first person or maybe the last person to wish you a really happy day <laughs> and hope that you had a good day or having a good day or continue to have a fantastic day. Hello. I see you. Thank you on Instagram for the hearts. Matt's here. Hello. And Abby's here. And okay. so. I, Abby. Nice I, job, Abby. This weird bark. Um, I have some cherry picked and I have my Filbert brush from the Turquoise Cyrus collection. A couple of things I'm going to do. I'm going to touch. Oh, good. I'm so glad your friend sent me your page on Instagram. Thank you. Hi, Patty Levine. How are you? So I'm going to touch up the, um, the Indian paint brush that we did. I'm going to touch it up just a little bit. Then I'm going to go up to the top. Guys, we're going to use some um, golden ticket tonight, our golden ticket patina. We're going to use some turquoise wax from DIY, which is called shipwrecked. And then we're also going to add in some black wax. So I'm going to go boom, 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 like that while what things are, are drying. I'm going to go boom and then boom and boom, boom. Hopefully I get all those things done. Well, why aren't you We've gonna, got, but why aren't you going to do the boom, 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 boom? That's sarcasm oh. right here. I might go boom, bada boom, bada bing, bing, boom. But this will be done. This is called, no, I forgot I was going to do a monarch. Oh, Matthew. my word. I was going to do a monarch butterfly tonight, guys, but I'm not prepared. I can't put wax on this thing. Well, you can. Just don't do it on the spot that you're going to do it. Okay. I'm going to put the wax down in here, but I've got to pick a flower for the monarch. I forgot all about this. Hello, everybody. And um, I had five coaching calls. And I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. So now that I remembered, this is called Monarch Meadow. And I decided I am going to paint a butterfly. Okay. So gosh, darn it. I wasn't prepared. I needed a picture. I don't have any of that printed out. So we're going to do the boom and the boom and the boom, but we might reroute the last boom into a butterfly. Are y'all in for that? Okay. So let me touch up this though. Um, I have, like I said, I have cherry picked. I have my filbert, which is a round, Okay, it's a round tipped, holds a lot of paint. Pretty awesome. You like the 3D action. Everybody's saying that it looks like the flowers are popping off. So Matt, what do you think caused that kind of dimension? How do you think I pulled that off? Um, I think you got pretty lucky. Okay, how about you say something really nice? <laughs> no, uh, when you uh, put shadow, in the, you know, when you were shadowing and you did the when you're spraying lightly misting the uh, bohemian blue. I think you're right. I think that's exactly what did it. I think it was the, the five layers of misted bohemian blue that here that did that. Um, because every time I put more flowers on, I sprayed them with uh, the bohemian blue in the old water bottle that I have. Uh, not my water girl, but it's a different one. So let me just get some, some more depth in here. Um, at the bottom of these Indian paintbrushes. And you guys were so helpful in helping me pick flowers that were going to attract monarch butterflies. And um, I think what I, like I said, what I wasn't prepared for, I was going to paint a butterfly tonight. <sighs> you had horrible hell last week, but right now I can hear a thunderstorm, but no rain. It's been storming all day, sheets and sheets of rain. And we have had a tornado about an hour from here touch down and do a bunch of damage and now we are hearing it kind of picking back up outside so we're safe i don't think it's going to be severe do you matt um we've got one more round i can see it out your window right now it's lightning uh we got one more round coming through in the next probably 30 minutes okay so it got to get kind of loud and stormy guys but we're here if, if something happens then we'll just you know catch it back on friday night um i was going to remind you guys that on fridays coming up in two weeks we're going to have every single one of my empowered by design girls um come in and um they're going to we're going to have two guests on each night they're going to play our games with us they're going to help us i see some of them popping on here right now hi tammy weber um so uh tornado warnings for rob gloria or for for us <laughs> well this time of year it's kind of texas it's, oklahoma <laughs> kansas yeah it's just pretty normal right now um you know, we were spared a little bit last year. We really didn't have any tornadoes from what I remember last year, which was nice because we were still and still right in the midst of COVID and, and not unsure what was going on and all of that. So 
Um, okay, I just needed to do a little bit of touching up. So I'm gonna raise the camera up. I'm gonna grab my turquoise wax and um, I'm gonna hit the hardware a little bit to create a little bit of patina and I wanna frame out some of this detail. This wax is from DIY. It's called Shipwrecked. You guys have seen me use it multiple times. And then um, as soon as I get this piece done, hopefully tonight, I guess we could come back and do the butterfly. Y'all don't really wanna see me do a butterfly. I don't really think I want anybody to watch me do a butterfly because I can turn it into a flower if I choose to, if it's terrible, <laughs> I'll just like, I, so well, hey, you, we'll, thank we'll, you guys. We'll get it thank you. Out. Will you help me? I, I will Will help you me. do the butterfly? I will help you. Oh, it's a date. I mean, okay, I, so let me raise I mean, the cameras. I'm pretty much the master of butterflies. Okay, I don't know if you remember when I finger painted. Yes, you're the master. You didn't finger paint at all. I used a pencil. You so used a pencil to paint with. Did I tell you I'm starting a finger painting group? Matthew, did I tell you? Uh, I, yes. We're yes, I was here when you announced it and we're asking people whether that would be a good idea. Well, the not. response was good. I've got a name for it already. It's called Creativity at Your Fingertips. That's right. Lightning's getting close. Lightning's getting close. $12 a month and we are just going to finger paint. That way we're not filling up our my other groups full of that. Fled Rob would rather see a dragonfly. Really, Rob? Can I'm, you do a dragonfly? I can't. But I'm thinking. Okay, we're good. I'm thinking Let's we're go. Stick with the monarch butterfly. Because well, because it's, it's called, called monarch, monarch meadow. meadow, right? <clears throat> that is just awesome. My Michelle's here. Hello. Okay. We got lolly lollies in the house tonight. Oh, girl, I missed you. We got Derek Carlton. Um. So the group is going to launch, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> That's an awesome question. We'll have more information on Wednesday. It's on my calendar, but I can't right. remember the date. Well, this is Wednesday. On Friday. <laughs> Today's Wednesday. That's right. Dion, I feel like I have missed on so much. Uh oh, Cheryl, honey, life happens. I'm glad you're here now. Don't even worry about it. I'm still here. I've always just been right here. I'm not going anywhere. So, um, with you seeing the top of this, I sprayed several coats of yellow over our red that we had here. Um, and then you can still see that original blue that I was like, eh, no blue, but I wanted a little blue to peek through. So what I want to do is I'm going to use, I've already put some of this turquoise wax right here. How about you guys come in closer? That's a good idea. Yeah. Y'all don't need to see me. How about you come in closer? Just don't, just don't can you um, fix that? Yeah. Oh, no, I did it all by myself. Thank you. Here, I got it. It's talent. Yeah. What'd you what'd you actually help with there? I got it free. I did loosened you? it. Did you? Yep. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. You are welcome, Karen Brown. I'm glad you got your paint in the mail today. It's fantastic. I am my apologies. Anytime I have to adjust these cameras, it just really gets kind of brutal. And I, I do apologize. <sighs> Sorry guys. Okay. So I'm not going to use very much. A little bit of turquoise wax is going to go a long way. <laughs> That's for sure. So I'm using my um, my wax brush from DIY as well. And oh, I'm going to no. frame out this kind of uh, Art Deco area right here. And then I'm going to wipe it back. Guess who's in? Facebook, Jill. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Well, how Betty's are they? Betty's in Facebook. I think she's Jill. here. How is she in Facebook, I don't know. Jill? She said she can't share. Oh, oh, well, I'm so sorry. She's so good to share all of our videos. I know. She's awesome. She does it like every time. I'm sorry, Betty. That must be so frustrating. Uh, we got uh, Monica Randall Mercer in the house. <laughs> Hi, Monica. Monica just launched her uh, creative membership group today. Congratulations to that. Lots of learning going on with Miss Monica Mercer, extremely talented, special friend of mine. Congratulations, Monica. A little Pam Dudley. Hi, Pam. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe some of that back, but I really want to bring out that um, patina with the with the turquoise wax over. See, we had copper here. If you remember about like day two or three, we put some copper on here. So I'm going to wipe some of that off and let that color come under come out from and be revealed there. Um, but you know, to answer your question about the finger painting group, it's just going to be finger painting. 
And um, I'm going to get that started in the next month. I've already got the name figured out. So you are using Shipwreck. Shipwreck, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's finishing wax, baby. It's a that is what is called in our industry finishing wax. In our industry. Yeah. Hello, Instagram. I see you guys. She probably would, Lolly. You don't make her take her meds. Oh, hi, everybody. I choose Dion over Biden tonight. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so a little bit. I'm going to hit these areas right here on the top. Um, can you see? You didn't get the notification. Well, that sounds about right. Hello, Christy Wright. Okay, so I'm just going to go right over these details. So I'm applying a lot of pressure and then I'm going to wipe it back. Okay, so in, in our industry, that's called wax on, wax off. Yes. Is that right. what we're doing? Is that the process that you're, you're yes. seeing? Okay. Just want to make sure for the for all the all the people out there. Trying to give them a you know it's very thoughtful, honey. A lot of so this is mostly yellow and red up here, but when I go back and wipe it off, I'm gonna bring you in closer, I promise you, and let you get a closer look because there's so many good details here. And it's like a stinking rainbow up in here on this thing. It is so pretty. So you did the wax on, now you you with the rag, you're doing the wax off. Is that correct? Yes, Matthew. Okay, very good. Very good. Just learning. Learning the process. I know, honey. Try it's, to get the lingo down. Well, I know I was actually planning on using a black wax, but there's so much color on this. And honestly, that turquoise going over the yellow and the orange, that's good. If you haven't tried it, do it. It's good stuff, guys. If you like color. And I mean, if it's called Monarch Meadow, it needs to have lots of color, right? Stephanie, um, we did. She did not add any color to the wax. That is DIY sh called Shipwreck. Yeah, it's our. It's their, our newest wax. It's called Shipwrecked, and it's just the color of the wax gives it with you when you mix it with the copper, which is what I've done on the hardware. It gives it that authentic patina look. Uh, we've had it since I guess last September, and so now I'm going to go back. We would like to welcome Patty Weeks. She's first time on here. Just love your work. Patty, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I come on every Wednesday and Sunday. And then uh, in, on Friday nights, I come on too. And I also bring on some friends Friday night. And I'll let everybody else show off their work too. Christy Baldwin Wright, I have that wax and didn't know how to use it. So glad I caught this. Oh, I'm glad you did too, Christy. Get after it. Put so it do you typically use that wax with specific colors or do you... It's just something you feel that the piece needs. Um, I think I used the Baja. It was that large wardrobe, and it had that big round medallion that we put copper on. And then I used the Verdigree wax to really make the hardware pop. I think it's best in little, little doses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think this is something I would put over the whole piece, uh, but I love it in little doses. Okay, so you wouldn't recommend covering. Not that you could. Well, I, right? I think you could. I just, it's hard for me to recommend something when I haven't done it myself. I mean, these are all fabulous questions from a guy named Matt on here. So he's, A guy named Matt. Yeah, he's bringing them tonight. He's bringing the questions tonight. Well, I appreciate that, Matt. A guy named Matt. Appreciate yeah, he's it. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. Sounds like a good dude. Um, so I'm, I don't, I think, you know, as long as it's, um, lightly applied and then I see, I still want the color to come through. All right. We're going to add more gold because I really kind of want some gold shimmer down in my flowers. Um, but I needed this to kind of set up and this just looks, well, this just looks gorgeous. Let's go over here a little bit. It does. It, it really kind of... Doesn't it look pretty? It, it changed. Why? Like it how? It just changed. It made it... It made, those it made oranges, it moodier. It made those oranges and reds really just pop a lot more, I think. Do you think I'm a good painter, Matt Woods? I mean, I've taught you everything that you know. Thank goodness. But... Okay. But yes, of course. All right. Let's come closer. Thank you, Matt. 
the show. All right, come closer. Instagram, you're next, but hold on. Uh, Yumiko, she says, I love to put shipwreck wax on white to bring the details out. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Yumiko. I appreciate that suggestion. See how the, the turquoise is all right in here? Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Don't encourage him, Christy. Okay, look, I want y'all to see this. Uh, Derek said the colors are looking great. Look, you guys, look, you can do that too. Just get all the colors and just mix them all in there. This is just paint and wax. Nothing too fancy. All right, and then looking at the hardware, Instagram, I promise you I have not forgotten about you. I would like to read some Instagram questions. I bet they probably have some good questions over there. Well, you honey, know? you can walk over here if you want. And just... I think I just need to get the third device. I think I just need to go all in. Matthew, you don't even have your phone on. I don't know, just how, get I on... don't know how to get on Instagram. As silly as that may sound. You have to create an Instagram account. I don't know how to do that. I just don't. He's he's real smart out of electrical work, guys. Hey, I can wire a, a thirty okay, so thousand square foot house, but I, can't I know you can. I know you can. You're extremely intelligent. Okay, so I'm gonna show Instagram. Hold on, and then we're gonna go lower the camera, add in some gold. And these are the things that I don't want you to miss. This is the stuff we worked on on live right here with you guys. Okay. And the hardware. This is that original water lily. I made sure I didn't cover any of that up. So this has got some of the copper with the wax. Lisa, Lisa Dixon just gave me the old face palm. Emoji. He is super special. Hello, involving the Hi, rest. everybody. Hello, Duh, Lisa. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Let me please be the first or the last one to tell you happy a happy, happy Wednesday. Maybe I'm the first person to tell you that. I don't know. Maybe I'm the last person. But let me just be that person. So let's first or last, regardless, is a good thing, right? I think so. I think so. I can't wait to photograph this piece. Can we keep it? Uh, Cindy Groom has a question. Cindy, rust is how? a mineral, right? What did she say? I do not believe rust is a mineral. Mineral is something you mine that is naturally... Well, it uh, naturally formed. it naturally forms, honey. Okay. Rust naturally forms. Oh, um, but does it? But I didn't make rust. I haven't made anything that looks but, like rust. But either. can you mine rust? I have. I I don't know. That's an awesome question, Cindy. But um, I don't know. How, that's that's great. I don't I don't know. But this doesn't look like rust. If it looks like rust on the camera, it doesn't look like that Good at all in person. Uh, gotta go. I may keep it, Karen. I'm running out of wall space. The Those chisel are, is a mineral. Rust is a chemical reaction, so I'm just not quite sure. Right, right. Um, okay, right. so let's get some let's get some copper in here. Um. Okay, so this is dry. I just needed to darken a little bit of our Indian paintbrush. Um, but I, I did, Lolly. I apologize. I realized that after I asked the question. What did you say, baby? I, mi I missed. I missed the, the conversation. Oh, I'm okay. going back and forth, right? You know, okay. and I'm trying to keep up, but I just, okay. I can't. That's okay. Maybe you should find somebody else to do this job. <laughs> do you think there's going to be any volunteers to hang out with me? Uh, well, I don't know. You I don't have one. So. Maybe one. I mean, Michelle comes on here, but she's not sitting here. You have to give up one to keep another. Mm. Mm. I, um, I have two in the living room and we're keeping one of them, maybe two of them, and I can't decide which one. One of them's Baja. Hi, Rob Glory, I see you over on the gram. Um, Matt, it's hard enough on one. Oh, you do great. Okay, guys. Um, Patty Levine, <laughs> Patty Ferguson Levine, yeah. how do you think you will stage this piece? Do you need some help over there? I think I finally got it, thank uh -huh. you. Um, how do I think I'll, I'll take, I'll take it from here. I'm going to need to bring the outdoor in. That's for sure. I would, I would probably start off with some, I've got some copper tables. 
at least one table but on I, the side. I don't think that's what she means. And then I would probably put a white sculpture on top of that. A white sculpture? White, so black table, white sculpture. It sounds very formal. This is a very casual. And then I would put, but it'd be a sculpture like of a, like a bust of a head, you know, of a guy, of a man. And I would, I would put a rose in his mouth or maybe in his ear to really accentuate the flowers. Really? Yeah. Sweetheart, I feel like that might be a little bit too formal for this look. I'm going to list, I'm going to miss this, even though we already put wax on it. I want to have a little bit of my copper. No golden ticket tonight. I think I'm actually going with copper. I forgot that I'd already put the copper, you guys, um, on the handles and up here. So instead of bringing in two metals, sorry, I forgot about that. So, um, yeah, I'm right here to confuse you. I stay confused, you stay confused, so we're on the same playing field. My apologies. Do you have a location on your porch that's covered? Um, we do. On the back, we have a... Um, very large back porch. Um, the only problem is, yeah, I don't know how I would make that work. Okay, so I'm gonna use the French tip. Oh wait, you can't see. Up just a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit on here in this water. I want it to drip. And then I'm going to put some down inside some of these flowers. I'm going to try not to nitpick these flowers and try to make them look too perfect. They're wildflowers, for goodness sakes, right? They should not be perfect. But there's a big part of me that wants to spend like each, you know, working on each one of them. Um, so I'm going to try not to do that. I always encourage you guys not to do that too. It's not necessary. This is just a really light, patina is a really watered down um, liquid, and so it goes on an extremely thin coat, and especially when we add water to it, it just looks more natural this way. So Rob, you're over on the gram. Is it a better view over there on Instagram? Honey, you know the piece we're giving away to Rob Gloria? Yes, I do. He, we forgot to give him the measurements. Well, does he still want it? Yeah, he wants it. But he asked me like a week or two ago, and then I forgot, or I asked you to do it, and then you forgot. I forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you. I'm pretty sure you just threw me underneath the bus. I did. Okay, so um, I think what I want to do is just kind of have a little bit of the copper along the top here, kind of a sunny glow. So I'm just going to do this along the top of this flower line. We're going to have to get our monarch on here, but I don't, I can't do a monarch without a picture. Um, I just can't. Looks good on there. Oh, hi, Betty. Apricadabra's over there too. I'm going to just put some copper on here and lightly The yellow flowers are dill bead, correct? No, they're not. They're goldenrod. Goldenrod, that's right. He keeps calling the dill weed. Matt just throw some paint inside it. Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, Delisa Dixon, I have been listened to the podcast and just want to say how moved I have been with the ones I have heard so far. I can't wait to listen. Classes are magical. There's something about just sitting down and talking with another creative about their experiences, how they got where they are. And tomorrow we have Anissa Perry coming out on the podcast. It'll be out at 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, if you don't know who Anissa Perry is, she is the owner and the artist at Nissa Nat, the founder of Bubblegum Yum, and she has a new uh, line of fluorescent paints coming out uh, in June. And so anyway, she talks a lot about business. Uh, Marlis, it ain't looking pretty around here. How are you down there? You're closer to where the, where the tornado was today. Um, what are you, you're asking me about something pigment, honey. What are they asking me about? I know Janet, did she use? Uh, Jan, well, Janet commented, I can't get over how cool the flowers were. 
uh, Yumiko said that I was looking so good on my TV. I know Janet, did she use a pigment? I did not use a pigment. I did not use a pigment. I did use some acrylic paints in part two or three, I believe, when we did the pink and the purple. Uh, there's a little bit of acrylic in the yellow. Uh, but the rest of it is all DIY. The stems, the Indian, the Queen Anne's lace. Um, and then all of this is all DIY. I don't have any other acrylics in it. The main thing that made this piece different, you guys, is I used the old water bottle and I sprayed layers of a very thin coat, let the undercolors come through, let it dry, sprayed it again, let it run, and just kept doing a little, 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 little bit at a time, okay? Kathleen Nolan, thank you, dear. The podcasts have been so amazing. What a group of kick-a women, right? That's right, Patty. That's right. I'm telling you what, I'm on podcast 34, and um, I have Joita coming up next week. Joita is the queen of color in Australia. Uh, she was featured in the issue. Um, so I have Patty, Patty Levine. We've got to schedule your podcast, sister. You're coming up. Patty Levine is coming up on her podcast. Okay, I just wanted a little bit of shimmer. I didn't really want to put it over the whole thing. I think what I'm going to end up doing is having the gold on this kind of side. It comes over to about here, and then I'm going to put that butterfly right here. So if anybody can help me paint a monarch or wants to come over and do this for me, um, Matt's pretty sure he can do it. Um, I'm good. I think Matt might want to check south of OKC. Uh, Mar uh, Marla says check the weather, honey. All right, I'm on it. Is it in Chickasha? It. If it comes to Chickasha, I know it's coming at me hard. Let me pull it up on the old, the old iPhone. Seriously, we don't have a TV on our Can't get the old iPhone. Okay, it's not a song. Um, actually, um, Patty, Michelle will be in contact with you and get you scheduled for a, a journal spotlight as well as the podcast. Um, all right. The way to get the lids every time, turn upside down. They get usually one. Yes, it does. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to have to walk away from it right now. I think we're going to have to check the weather. The second thing I need to do is, um, let this dry. And then I've got black wax. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do. Oh, I see what she's talking about. It's just a little, it's just a little, it's just a little cell. It's a little, little thundercloud. You thought Anissa was on. No, Anissa was not already on the podcast. Um, I have her coming up tomorrow for her first time on the podcast. She was featured in the journal that came out last week. Um, and uh, yeah. Hi, Kathleen. Lolly must have been in the mag. Uh, yep. We don't have any hook echoes, so we're pretty No good. hook echoes? No hook okay, echoes. Okay, so uh, the people in the other parts of the country don't know where the hook echo is, baby. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I want to talk about wax for just one second. <laughs> where you talk about hook echo and tornadoes. I was going to get, yeah, get on my bow, my bow voice. Okay, no bow voice. That's what. That's our, thund, our uh, storm tracker, guys. Um, so I'm going to take my black wax, and I'm going to put some shadowing around the sides in the bottom and so the layers of bohemian blue are at the bottom um so i put all of my stems on and then i sprayed it with bohemian blue i came back the next day and added a few more stems then i sprayed over the bohemian blue again and did that three or four maybe even five times so the flowers kept getting a little bit of sheer coating over them then i'm going to just shade the bottom and up on the sides and give it that illusion that they're further back and that it's evening and it's a little bit darker and uh yeah after you do the black wax will you clear wax over it i will not delisa because the clear wax will actually just pull the dark wax off uh, it will act as an eraser so i can do black wax or excuse me i can do clear and put the black over it but I don't do black and put the clear over that because it will just pull the black off onto my brush. So um, I will just acknowledge where the black is and avoid it with my clear. Does that make sense? I hope. Um, so anyway. Betty says the flowers are perfect. Wow. Thank That's you. Nice I appreciate that. I know it's really wet right here. So it looks really dark right here. It's wet. Um, but I love 
the way the top came out. I'm going to take a picture of that and post it. Um, the hell has missed me. It's going up to Dallas. Be careful, everyone. Uh, everyone, if you are in the line of the thunderstorms, be careful. Um, apparently, we are. And so um, we're going to well, turn on the news. Be weather aware. Be weather aware. And Matt said the storm shelter's cleaned out today. So, uh, okay, perfect, Delisa. We'll just, I'm just gonna avoid it. I'm gonna apply it in one area and apply it in the other color. Um, thank you guys so much. I will be back on Friday. We'll be having um, a Friday night live. And then the next week we will start bringing online power by design ladies. Most of them have not done a Facebook live before. Uh, some of them have, but they're gonna participate in all of our games and all of our fun. All right. I think that's it. Everybody's getting rain all over the place. Hot and humid in Oklahoma, in, in Florida. All right, everybody, I appreciate you. Thanks for the support. Oh, and I have to do a butterfly. I don't know how to do a butterfly, but I'm here for it. If, if not, I'm going to turn it into a flower and pretend you never saw it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> all right. Good night, Instagram. Good night, you guys. See ya.